They come, young and old, and in between. And for a short time, they wash their cares away. You know, getting them out of the wheelchair and getting them in the water uh, and teaching them to basically fly is, is what scuba is all about. Now it's Johnny the, the scuba diver, not Johnny the guy in the wheelchair. And, and that creates a paradigm shift in the way people look at them. And how they look at themselves and those around them. They're down, they're hurting, they're depressed. Get them in the water and maybe raise their self-confidence back up, not just in themselves, but raise their confidence in other people. So it's nice diving with Jim, and he's able to show me and have me feel things while I'm in the water. Dive Heart, an all-volunteer nonprofit started by Jim Elliott in 2001, brings snorkeling and scuba diving to any child, adult, or veteran with a disability. Whether the dive is a scuba adventure in the Caribbean or in a suburban Chicago swimming pool, the results are the same. Scuba diving is the only sport in the world that has no gravity. The high adventure of scuba diving puts it in a place where most able-bodied people don't do it. So if somebody with a disability does it, it really sets them apart from everyone else. Ian is autistic. He doesn't learn new tasks easily. Mommy! Good job, Ian! This is phenomenal because he's never, ever, ever succeeded in anything this quickly. We had incredible results with autism. We've had uh, people go from 90% special classes to 90% mainstream classes. Retired Marine Sergeant Gregory Rodriguez suffers from traumatic brain injury. He now loves diving. I'm attracted to the vet program in particular because we sent them out, we trusted them to go out and represent us and to put their lives on the line, life and limb. And I think it's important that we as individuals and uh, communities offer the same kind of trust to bring them back in and reintegrate them to further their lives. Dave, Jack, Don, and John are all veterans and all legally blind. I'm going to check our depth. And I thought it was exceptionally nice of them to uh, consider us blind people as human beings like everyone else. And we, you know, want to go on with life and they're showing that uh, they're interested in helping us do that, you know. Relax. You got the best ride. When I see them, I, I see a group of people that many people look away from. They don't understand what they're going through. They don't understand what a disability means to an individual, to a family. I actually didn't want to get out of the pool. I really didn't. Uh, it just felt good. It was exciting. Oh yeah, this, this is fantastic. This won't be the last time. It's hard to put in words. I, I just really had an enjoyable experience. I'd do it every night if I could. <laughs> That's really the energy that I live off of, is, is watching people realize things and, and the, that they could do that they didn't think they could do. That energy is the engine that feeds Dive Heart and those around it. That's easy, not bad. No. Well, this is physical engagement and, and mental engagement that uh, really gives you uh, an emotional lift. You feel you belong to something, you're engaging in a higher purpose. It is extremely powerful and it's almost an addiction. I mean, you, you want, after a while, you just want to do this because you know what the reward's going to be. You know what the smiles are going are to mean when you see them. That's, that's a lot of what it's about, too, is being able to say, I did it, and then taking those feelings and those beliefs with you in life and doing, doing bigger and better things. Mm -hmm.